So this demonstration, what we're looking at here is a loop of wire, and in the middle of the loop of wire is a compass. And that compass needle right now is pointing north because nothing's happening. Now my loop of wire is connected to a power source, which I have not turned on yet. Uh, but to show you, you're looking at an overhead view of a loop of wire. If I tilt the camera down, you can see that this is a loop of wire on the desk here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this uh, so we can get a better view. And right now we see that the compass needle still continues to point geographically north. So what I will do now is I will turn on the power source and we see that the compass needle uh, was rotated and I'm going to get it to calm down really quick here and kind of steady itself. And it is now pointing geographically west. Uh, despite the fact that Earth hasn't changed geographically, it's the magnetic field created by this loop of wire has uh, forced the compass needle to point west. What I will do is I'll turn this off and you'll see the needle will go back to pointing north. I'm going to flip the terminals on my power source. What that does is it causes the current to run, say if the current was running this way through the loop, it's going to cause it to run the other way through the loop. And as my needle, I'm going to get it to calm down here. And it's kind of pointing north. I kick on the power source again, and this time you see that it turned the other way. So again, I'm going to get it to kind of settle itself. And it doesn't point exactly east and last time it didn't point exactly uh, west. The reason is I have, in this particular case, a magnetic field created by the loop of wire pointing east. And that east magnetic field is competing with the Earth's north magnetic field. And so the loop of wire is significantly stronger than the Earth's. So it's pointing mostly east but ever so slightly north. I'm going to turn this off again, and I'm going to remove this needle, and I'll bring in an actual compass. Uh, so we have compass, uh, there we go, now it's pointing north. I'm going to turn on the power source, and uh, I'll put this inside, and we see that it has gone to pointing east. But pay attention here, as I move the compass needle, above the wire, it points west. If I put it inside the loop, it points east. And if I put it below the loop, it points west.